Well, you might ask me if parents really uh, can see all of these long-term negative effects of physical punishment of their children, why do they keep doing it? Well, first of all, people don't understand that, and uh, it's kind of like the American government. I think we're sort of short-sighted in many ways on, on long-term policies that are necessary and the effort that it takes to, to make a change. But parenting is a long-term process, and being able to see the effects long-term isn't something that people are aware of. So they don't realize what they're doing. They only see the immediate effect and remember that. But there's something else really important that goes on, and that is that parenting comes at you so fast that most of it is done reflexively. In other words, you basically do what your parents did to you. And, all, and those memories were actually laid down at a very young age, um, even in the first year of life. Children are remembering feelings and remembering things that happened. And, and they act them out later without even knowing why. Um, when I'm teaching about discipline, I often ask the audience, whose words do you hear coming out of your mouth? And it doesn't take anything for people to say, my mother, my father, that people become, become aware of it, uh, if they can become aware of it, that they're in fact carrying on a kind of family tradition. And that's part of why it's so hard to change people's ideas about corporal punishment, and that is most Americans were hit when they were children. That's the way it is. And people have to justify in their own mind why their parents did that to them, but still obviously loved them. How do you justify that? Well, you selectively remember. It's to not just remember from our own personal anecdotes. Certainly, you know, history will repeat itself if we don't learn from the overall picture from the, from the facts and from the information that's available on this subject. But people become passionate about it because that their parents did that to them. People are always saying, well, I was physically punished and I came out okay. And whether you agree with the fact that they came out okay or not is irrelevant. What they're saying is that they're using their own personal experience instead of using scientific fact. So what I'm trying to tell you is, here are some of the scientific facts. And the only way that we can make progress in this area is to not just remember from our own personal anecdotes. Certainly, you know, history will repeat itself if we don't learn from the overall picture, from the, from the facts and from the information that's available on this subject. But people become passionate about it because of the fact that these memories are laid down so early and also because they're conflicting information. Their child is hit. There's pain, but there's also love. It's the kind of thing that makes great material for a struggle in one's own mind so that people then have strong feelings and often irrational feelings about it and can't get to the facts in order to change their behavior. It's also part of why when people are disciplining the child in the heat of the moment, and what I mean by heat is the emotional heat of the moment, there's high emotions, you resort to something that comes automatically, and that's the thing that was done to you. And the overall philosophy that you don't hit people to change their behavior has got to be imbued into this culture. We know right now that there are more and more demands on American, the American economy to perform in the world market. And what you may not be thinking about is that for people to be productive, they have to have self-confidence and self-esteem. They have to be self-starters and not be blaming things on forces outside of themselves. Corporal punishment works in the opposite direction. It makes people feel alienated and powerless and depressed. It reduces the kind of prestige and income they're likely to get in a job, at least if they make it past high school. And it gives people a philosophy that we're not working together, that we're working more as individuals. And all of those things are not going to be supportive of the future of our whole society. Almost everyone has spanked their kids. And none of us likes to think that we have done things to our children which aren't good for the children. And that's, in effect, what happens. So there's a psychological resistance to admitting that what you did was wrong. I know I felt that because I spanked my kids. I like to think I didn't do it very much, but I can't really remember, but I know I did. Uh, and I had to get over that feeling and recognize that I was wrong.